on my way to um, Rhinos Pass. Just gonna walk up to Twinkle Crags. Nice and early. Got the uh, got the rear mirror iPhone camera on the go, hands free. <laughs> Catch a bit of that early morning mist. Just hope I don't run out of petrol. I haven't got much petrol left, I didn't realise. There's not, much, not many uh, petrol stations open at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Especially up this way. <laughs> so, I just hope my petrol gauges aren't uh, showing me the wrong readings. Just up towards, going up the road towards Ulfa. I suppose I could jump the lights, but you never know. You never know. Could be a copper anyway. Just had to clean the uh, window. Ended up putting my window washers on, and it oh, the bit in the middle that it doesn't get is blocking the camera. Just dropping down into Wolf for now. You see the morning mist in the valley. Great this time of morning because it's roads are nice and quiet. Let's see the mist lifting up in the valley there. I've been up here before, not long back, but I was more or less on the top of Rhinos Pass and I went up to Red Town Way up to Pike of Blisco. But this time I'm wanting to do it from a bit further down and all the way to Crinkle Crags. It's a bit more exercise because it's it's quite high up Rhinos Pass, so you you're already three or four hundred metres above. So you haven't got as much to climb. So it was quite easy last time. So I'm wanting to do it a bit a bit lower. And I noticed a little bridge that you go over and there was a nice little parking spot. Noticed it on Street View. Google, Google Street View. So I'm hoping to stick the car there. Just coming in all for now. Well post office. All for post office. Getting close to uh, rhinos now. Getting a bit higher up. And uh, looking where I'm going, them clouds are looking black. <laughs> But it gives me a chance to test my uh, bag out in the water, in the rain. See how it holds up. If it does rain. There we go. Over this bridge. There's a parking spot up here. I think we can get up there actually. When I'm going up. Right, we've just come up. We've uh, we started off from down there, just around there, 
at that bridge just see car in the middle there and then just there was a lot of cows at the bottom of the field down this way so we had to come instead of coming straight up this way we had to come right round and up just to avoid them yeah there's looking down in the valley and there uh, just having a breather aren't we Rube? it's not looking promising today it's cloudy a few dark clouds quite low as well Uh, we're off up the top of this one. Still can't remember where it is. I didn't look at the map. But I'm heading towards that wall and find a route from there. A bit higher now. Well, that was some climb that, that was more or less straight up. I'm not even at the top yet, I'm not far off. Starting to hit the clouds now. <clears throat> Just get further up that ledge there, I'm more or less in the clouds. Just hope it clears off a bit. It's only early. Yeah, that's where I started from down there down at the bridge just at the uh, start of Hard Knots Pass and then uh, more or less just direct straight route up here got a few hundred metres to go yet and then I'm in the clouds I was hoping it'd be a nice day but no chance yet. Right Rube, should we go into the wet clouds? Eh? <laughs> Come on, let's get to the top. Just found a little sheltered spot behind these rocks. Just out of the clouds while they're flying past. You can just see them on the screen. Clearing up now. See a bit more now over there. Couldn't see nothing over there before. Oh, we've got a bit to go yet, Rube. A bit higher. Thought we were nearly there. <laughs> oh, breaking the clouds. I was just about to get my compass out and get a bearing. I think I still will. Just so I have somewhere to, I know which way to head on my way back. If it's total cloudness up there, white out. You ready? What are you, you are staring at them sheep? Don't you go chasing them. Ah, uh -uh. no. I can see you. It's a good test for him to see if he'll. Uh, behave himself, try to teach him not to go running after him, which is up to now he's not too bad, behave, ah, ah. don't you think about it, come here, hey, ah. Rube, get here now, hey, come here, Rube, come here, what's this? That always brings him. Am I going to have to put you on your lead? Eh? Is it lead time? Oh. That was some trek. We've just uh, come across from little stand over at the foot of Crinkle Crags. That's Crinkle Crags up there. We've just come from that way came came across. This is the main path here from uh, Red Town Way. Got about 600 metres to go. Look at the top. 
bit of maintenance work, maintenance work going on. Right, Rube. Last bit, lad. <laughs> Get up there in the clouds. It's just you no, know, but clouds can't see a thing. Right, come on then. Let's get up. Right. Finally, at the summit of Crinkle Crags. Rube's looking a bit wet and miserable. <laughs> I'll have to get the uh, find somewhere to put the tent up. There's not much to see up here. It's just a cloud. Let's just have a see what the. Because uh, there's another summit over there. Can't see it now. It's just gone white. And I'll uh, just see which one. I'll have a walk over to it. Then I'll drop down a bit and get the tent up. Right. Just gonna walk it or calibrate. Calibrate the phone. Wait there, Rube. Come on. Right, Kinko Crags. The cane. There's another one over there, I'll go over to it. And it is cold. 859 metres above. There's me, right there. Right, we'll go at the other one, drop down and get shelter because it's just wet. We're going to get cold quick. Right, we'll go at the other. And just barely see the other one over there. Over this one now. <laughs> nice to balance the storm. Cool. Right, there, but we'll drop down and get the tent up. Get out of this cloud. Alright son, just come from up that way, come down this way, hey you've gone and if you fall down that bit, <clears throat> right down there, well it's nice and sheltered here, out of the wind, I'm just dropping down a bit off Crinkle Crags, slowly. Well, brew's made. Just got, got snacks today. A couple of, a few boiled eggs. <clears throat> Some nuts and that. I'm just, uh, just getting out of them clouds. Uh, you can wait. Hey, behave, behave, behave. It's cold. I'm going to put that stove back on again because it didn't have to warm it up in here. Got all my gear down there. <clears throat> Do you have these, son? Eh? Should we finish these eggs off and then you can have some coffee? Okie doke. Some eggs are nice and easy to peel, and some are a right pain, and these are a pain. You take half the egg off with the shell, and you get some that are nice and easy to peel. It's always the case, isn't it? You get the ones that are hard to peel. Now that one was perfect. Yeah, my first dream. <laughs> Wait. Stay. Go get it. Do all that. Ah, ah, boop. 
Rube, look at me. Ruben. Rube. Go and get it. <laughs> You'd think I'd never feed him. The trouble is, I've got to, I've got to watch what he eats because he'll put he puts on weight dead quick. <coughs> a bit like me. Ah, a bit like me. Is that nice? Have some coffee in a minute. Oh, that's no good. You can't eat that lot, lad. What's going in that bag? Well, it's lovely and warm, isn't it, Rube? Lovely and warm with that one. Do you feel the heat? Gorgeous. <coughs> Don't mind wasting a bit of gas at the price of them things. Keep you warm. Right, yeah. We came off Green Cold Crags. Moved slightly down and pitched the tent out of the wind. We're still in the clouds a little bit. Where about there? Where there? It's next to, next to a couple of little little towns, only small towns. And there's Crinkle Crags. Up there. Somewhere. Where are they? <coughs> there, them there. What's on them? And that's where we are. Just came off the main footpath over here. We're sort of cutting across over to little stand, I think it is. There, we're going across to little stand and then dropping down to where. Car is around here somewhere. It's getting warm. Having some dinner and a brew. That bag's working out all right. <coughs> I made adjusted the back a bit. I'm carrying it a lot better this time. <sighs> the insects everywhere. You feel that heat, Rube? Huh? It's nice, isn't it? Come on. The view out, out there. Not much of one. <coughs> A bit lower down now. Right, come out of the way, Rube. Go over there. So I can get out. Right, it's clearing up a little bit. It's not as cloudy. Cloudy. It's not cloudy up there. It's a creek called Crag. Cloud out here now. You're staying in there, aren't you? Hey? <laughs> Just quickly knock the uh, tent up. Pegs aren't even in properly. Yeah, I don't think that cloud's going to clear from up there. But you can, it's, uh, it's a bit higher now, though. Get some more views in. Getting out. Mind you, I'm sure my chick said by about 10 o'clock it'll be sunny, be nice. I don't fancy walking back up there again if it clears. <coughs> Legs are done in. Red River. I've just come off the track. I'm taking more or less a shortcut straight across to uh, a little stand. I couldn't see any of this when I came up. It was just white. 
it's nice to be able to see a bit of uh, scenery. Yeah, a couple of little towns or whatever they are. Yeah, it's, it's covered now. Cloud coming back over here. I won't come out here, eh? it's getting cloudy again, it's cold. Eh. Better off staying in here, lad. Staying. Thinks he's getting somewhere. <laughs> What's that store it's off? All the cloud floating past. Watching the view as well, Rub. A cloudy view. Yeah, see now, no. No view. Oh, cloud now. Back again. Yeah, this is where I started off. Started off here. And I sort of came round the side. More or less straight up little stand and then I came round this part and I'm round about here at the moment then I went up here joined the path there followed that up to Crinkle Crags the summit and then came back down and pitched pitched the tent here a bit sheltered a bit more sheltered down here there was a bit of a climb coming up up this bit here <coughs> sort of came round and to the summit somewhere there a the little stand and came round the back of it, round here. Yeah, this is me uh, fire kit. <coughs> I only mainly use the light and in it, but everything else is there just in case. Oh, I'm, me, me uh, ferris rod, I use that as well. Got it in this little Maxpedition mini micro. Got a little uh, steel there, uh, fire steel. Went my fire. I think it's the army one. What's in there? Uh, that lighter, absolutely brilliant. That lighter. Powerful twin burner. Two jets. Forget what that is. 
turbo flame. Mainly use them two, but these are here just in case. Fire starting Vaseline. Some cotton pads. They've got now on them. All I'll do is get a bit of that, put it in, in the middle of them and you can light them with your fire steel. No problem. That's in there. This is in there. A couple of little candles. I've melted them down a bit so they don't they're not as thick. One in that side. <clears throat> Got uh they've all been soaked in wax. So you just break them up a little bit, tear them up with your the rough part of your fire steel, the blade or something, just scratch them up and then they'll take a take a spare. They'll last quite a, quite a while. So they're all solid, soaked. What's in there? Just a spare spare thing that came with a cheap one that a spare thing candle holder put a bit of paraffin in it, in it if you want a bit of uh, Vaseline not paraffin another candle a couple of uh, a couple of lenses powerful Magnifying lenses. In case you. It's not enough sun to get them. It's just cast over. But it concentrates the uh, beam. They're just a. Uh, an option if I had ever needed them. When I ordered them, you got two in a packet. And that's it. I think that's all I need really. Don't need no else. Don't need a lot. Two only different options. I'm starting a fire. If you need one. Well, that, that all fits in that nicely. Goes in bag and tucks away. Yep. So that's my fire kit. Well, right, it's back fully loaded. Tap on the side there, everything's in. Yeah, I had this further up to the max. Anyway, it's better for me a bit further down. I think I've got it on medium. Just sits better on me. I think with these, it's a matter of just adjusting it, trying it, and then next time you're out, adjust it again and see which is uh, best fit. <clears throat> right, Rube. Back towards a little stand. somewhere you can see a bit more now so better see where I'm going there's uh, crinkle crags up that way you know you get the odd clear clear bit of sky but still dark clouds coming over you all set Rube I should get a shot in while the clouds are clear there's Coniston. Coniston water. So I'm up over at this summit. It's a bit of a cane up there. I'm not sure what this one's called. I'll have a look when we get there. But the uh, you got no chance of getting a clear sky up there. Clouds are just coming onto it all the time. Yeah, I'm not too sure what this one is. Just a bit of a cane on top, that's all. Just looking over at uh, Crinkle Crags. 
just get a peep of the uh, Scarfells, I think, over there. Yeah, I'm going down a different way. I came up around that way, over the other side, and then down this way, back onto the road. Should take me down onto uh, Rhino's Pass. Just dropping down slowly. I went up the other side of here. I think I'm going to make my way down towards the river. I can sure I can see a public footpath gate down there. I'm going to head down there. Cross the river. Follow, follow the road down because I'm only around the corner. Down the bottom. Just got to tackle this hill now. Make my way down without scaring these sheep too much. Cold pike up there. I've just come down from there. Little stand is there. Uh, over that way, over the top. Well, it's getting a bit of sunshine through cloud. Train. That's Rhino's Pass there. Uh, on me way back to the car where them cows are over there or near near enough where they are you can't see on the screen well I went up that way and hit that wall up there I'm on my way back to the car, which is down that way. Come here, you. Come here, Ru. Right. It's been a, been a grueler, especially going up there. The legs were done in enough going up there. And then, and then, once I got up there, I headed on to Crinkle Crags. Mind you, it's good exercise, especially with my bag on. Right, we're nearly there now. Get some nice fresh water when we get back. Right, I'm back in the car now. Yeah, so I went over there, up, up over the top. Came back down around onto the uh, road and back to the car. Yeah, that was the route. It was 11.3 uh, kilometres. Started from there, up to the top, Crinkle Crags, back down round the other side, and back along the road. You've had your water, haven't you? I've had my Lucas head, ready for off. 